In this Business Tech Planet video, we'll show you how to get Loop working in Outlook. If Loop is grayed out, the first thing you should do is click the message section of your email. Doing so should activate Loop, allowing you to select the various components. But if Loop is still grayed out, you may need to connect your OneDrive business account. To do that, close the email and head to File at the top. Then go down to Office Account. Now click Add a Service, and hover over Storage to reveal more options. And then select OneDrive for Business. If you don't have a business account, Loop might not be available for you. But if you do have a business account, enter your account email. And then hit Next to sign in. The reason for adding your OneDrive account is that Loop uses OneDrive to store components. Once you've added your OneDrive account, click Update Options, and select Update Now in the drop-down. If there are updates available, you'll be given the option to update Outlook. Otherwise, hit Close, then head to the top left and click the Back button. Now create a new mail. Click the Message section below. Then head up and start using Loop. But if Loop is still grayed out, that could indicate a problem with your Outlook profile. To fix that, close Outlook, and type Control into the Windows search bar. Then head up and open the Control Panel. Here, select Mail. Then Show Profiles. Select your Outlook profile and hit Remove. And then Yes to confirm. Now click Add, and enter a new profile name, such as New Outlook. When you're done, hit OK. Next, enter your account details. Then hit Next. And when the account has been created, hit Finish. Now head back to Outlook, and try using the loop components. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.